I've had these V rubber crown gem tires on my trail bike for about 7 months now, putting them to their paces and seeing how they perform on the trails. Suffice it to say, I have been very pleasantly surprised. While they are available in various other sizes and widths, the ones I have are the 27.5 plus sized versions in a 2.8 inch width to be precise. When I got these tires, I kind of assumed off the bat that they were just going to be simple XC tires since that is what the tread configuration looks like. However, V Rubber classifies these as an all mountain tire, meaning they're actually designed for more general all around trail use. So I decided to keep them on and run them for a while and see what I thought. And in the time I've been using them, I have to say that they definitely live up to their claims. Tire pressure is really, really important with these tires as running them at too high of a pressure will result in your rear wheel spinning out a lot, as well as your front tire washing out a lot. I'm running these tires tubeless and I currently weigh about 185 pounds. I'm usually carrying 10 or so pounds of gear on most of my rides, so we'll say that on most of my rides I'll weigh about 195 pounds. The sweet spot for me that I've personally found is about 20 psi in the front and 22 psi in the rear. This really allows the tires to grip onto the trail surface and reduce slippage. I've been riding these tires on a variety of different trails from XC to light downhill and they have actually exceeded my expectations at every turn. I actually planned on replacing these tires immediately when I got my trail bike back in January, but I ended up just keeping them because of how pleased I actually was. The coin performance is pretty good. The tires just don't give out under you when you lean the bike over, but because of those cross country style knobs, you also get to keep going really fast. Now I do have to say that no matter what pressure you use, these tires will never give you the same kind of grip as something like a Maxxis Minion DHF and the AirTrad 2 combo would. Granted it's not quite as fast rolling, but I run that tire combo on my full suspension trail bike and it is planted like a tree no matter where I ride it. And it's even a lot more forgiving if I don't have the PSI 100% dialed in. So would I recommend these tires? Honestly, it depends. While the tire does perform well, the sidewalls don't seem to actually be that strong. I've had quite a few hard impacts happen back there, and while nothing's actually popped yet, I've had some pretty ominous sounds happen, and some pretty nice scrapes have popped up on the side of the tire. Not to mention that I actually started noticing the tread wearing out after only about 3 or 4 months of riding once or twice a week. Granted, I primarily ride on hard pack trails that are really rocky, so your results may vary. But if you're looking for a fast rolling, yet surprisingly grippy tire to use on general trails that aren't too difficult or technical, or a tire that you can air up and ride XC on, this might be the tire for you. However, the price is definitely something to consider. V sells these tires on their website for $62 each, and if you ride more technical trails or plan to in the near future, you can get a Maxxis Minion DHF DHR2 combo for around the same price, and it'll probably suit you a lot better. So me personally, while I am glad that I tried these tires out and gave them a chance to surprise me, which they did, I'll still probably be going back to Maxxis for the next riding season, which around here starts in the fall when the temperatures start dropping down. I'll be riding a lot more often then, and I really am going to need a tire that's as close to indestructible as possible. Not to mention that regardless, a Minion DHF at 20 PSI is just going to provide a lot more grip than a Crown Gem will at 20 PSI. I'm not really a speed demon or anything, I just like my tires grippy. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Is this tire worth it? Perhaps somebody owns a pair of these already and would like to share their opinion. I'd welcome anything you guys have to say in the comments section below. For now, thanks for watching everyone, this is the MTB Duck, signing off for today.